Gwincher Outdoors would not be possible without the support of these great companies. Boatworks, your boat performance specialist. Baitworks, for all your tackle needs. Jim Butler Centralia, where Squincher Outdoors gets all our trucks. The Resource Center, for insurance and financial solutions. Rustic Timbers Furniture, for home and office. Shin, gear that's just built better. Ozark Mountain Outdoors, for all your archery and taxidermy needs. Mossy Oak Properties, find your favorite place. Hot Shot Archery, take your best shot. Lily's Landing, Branson's Top Resort and Marina. Vortex Optics, closing the distance. Magnus Broadheads, quality with a lifetime guarantee. Trophy Image, animal nutrition you can trust. Spartan Cameras, so you don't have to be there. Jewel, the jewel in the crown of champion anglers everywhere. And of course our friends at Squincher, hydration that works. All right, on this week's episode of Squincher Outdoors, I'm back at Lake of the Ozarks, and last year I was with Mr. Dion Hibden, but today he brought two of his boys with him, Lawson and Peyton. So we're gonna do a little something fun today. We're gonna to have a little three-man tournament. Randy from Boatworks in Springfield, Joe from Boatworks at Lake of the Ozarks are here. We're gonna split up three fish limit for the tournament. The only bad thing is the losing team has to buy dinner. And I don't see any little guys here, so this could be this could be painful. It's gonna be costly for somebody. It's gonna be brutal. I mean, I know you won the classic, but this is gonna suck. It's so, gonna be bad. Um, last year, you guys were working on your own jig, and from what I hear, you guys got it perfected, and so we're gonna spend a lot of the day fishing with the new jig, and if it goes south, these boys over here said we might have to throw an A-rig, so we'll see what happens. But tell me a little bit about your jig real quick. Our little jig's called the Hibden's Hammer. Uh, this is a little one, this is a 3 8 size. Uh, this time of the year, we throw a lot of little stuff, you know, a lot of tiny stuff, uh, just to get bites, because they don't bite a jig as good as they do shad. Uh, but we still catch a lot of fish on it. We've been, I've been catching a quite a few keepers on it and stuff, but it's hard to catch a big one down on the bottom. Most of those big ones are up off the bottom, especially like today when that wind's blowing as hard as it is. So, so, we, might, so we might struggle a little bit on a jig to catch a big one. We'll still catch lots of fish, uh, but like I say, the hammer jig, the only unique thing about it is we designed the head for here fishing because there's lots of brush in our lake, lots of brush, and there's lots of rock. And, you know, if you throw a football head, it's good in the rocks, sucks in the brush. If you throw, you know, a, a pointy headed jig that actually comes through the brush, it sucks in the rocks. Well, we just tried to, Lawson and Peyton are the two that designed the head and came up with the head shape. And, uh, and then actually Peyton has been using this hook for probably six or seven years. And uh, I got to using it last year with my wife, taking her out on the Thursday night tournament or Thursday night tournament. And Lawson or Peyton told me, he says, "Let's rig up a couple of them jigs with that hook in it." And that was actually a football head. He said because you don't have to set the hook. He said it just hooks them, stabs them good. So they designed the head. We put the right hook in it. And the nice thing about it, you'll get to see it today sometime. I'll get a five pounder on later, and I'll just let him swim around out there. Uh, yeah, that's wrong. Uh, but anyways, the crazy thing about it is you don't have to have a big wicked hook set. If a fish gets you kind of when you're off guard or, you know, off, you know, kind of off kilter, you don't have to set the hook real hard. It stabs it right through the top of the head. And, you know, like I say, don't make a hoot in hell what you're doing, whether you're tournament fishing or just going out here like we are to go have fun. You want to catch everyone that bites you. Needless to say, yeah, that that one does the trick. I mean, and like I say, my wife throws it, throws a five eighths ounce one on a spinning rod and ten pound braid, and hooks every fish that bites her. You know, and guess what? I'm a big old bruiser guy. Use seven and a half foot rod, big heavy line. A lot of times, I hook every one that bites me on it. So it doesn't matter. It's just a really really good setup. It hooks them good. Comes through rocks. Comes through brush. So. You're not hung up all the time and you know you're spending your day fishing instead of going in and you know throwing your football and it accidentally come through a piece of brush it doesn't matter this works well, i know? remember last year it's february now so last year when we fished remember a lot of the bites we were getting you just raise up off the bottom you lose contact you'd have a fish on there yep. and you wouldn't even really know it but you gotta so that's going to help in the hook set absolutely there. i mean and and it the nice thing about it is you can use rods that are more suited for 
wintertime fishing. You know, a lot of people, you know, will get to using too stiff a rod. Well, the stiffer that rod gets, the less sensitivity you have. I mean, I throw medium heavy most of the time this time of the year, uh, 12, 15 pound line. And uh, like I say, you can feel better. You can feel better with that lighter line. That, you don't have to set the hook real hard. It just works. All just right, a well, good combo. One course. thing left to do, we're gonna draw for teams. So, you're first, Randy. Mr. D, y'all. Oh, that's bold. <laughs> Lawson. All right. So the last thing I guess to do is put these pretty Camus boats in the water and let's get it, get it done. Are you ready for a better way to buy a boat? Boatworks has reinvented the boat dealership experience. Customer appreciation, service, our friendly staff will make owning your next boat simple. We offer premium brands like Bass Cat, Camus, Skeeter, and more. Boatworks isn't just about serious fishing. From our premium pontoon lines and wake boats, we've got you covered. Come visit us at our locations in Springfield, Missouri or Lake of the Ozarks. Boatworks, a better way to buy a boat. The Squincher Outdoors team is always on the go, and that's why Jim Butler in Centralia, Missouri is our go-to for a dependable new ride. With a huge selection of Chevy trucks, Ford trucks, Ram trucks, Jeeps, and a wide variety of SUVs, Jim Butler Centralia has it all to fit your needs. If you're just looking for accessories, genuine GM parts, or maintenance, service manager Trey D. Teen is there to help. And general sales manager Alex Cox will make sure your experience at Jim Butler and Centralia will keep you coming back. While the teams were getting their boats in the water, the three most important participants were setting up their own little side bet. All right, so here we are. This is the most important three people on this whole entire TV show because we're the ones behind the camera. And I'm already gonna admit, I cheated a little bit because I hopped in the boat with the professional, Dion Hibden. So not really because he's a good fisherman, but man, can that guy talk. <laughs> so, but anyway, we're got a little friendly competition going on between us to see who can be in the winning boat because I think it really comes down to the, whoever's the best camera guy is probably going <laughs> to be catching the most yeah. fish also. So, guys got anything to add or? Uh, hand warmers are important. <laughs> so, so here's the deal, the losing uh, team, losing fishermen have to buy steaks for everybody else. So between Pretty us nice. fishermen, the losing fisher our camera person camera. here has to buy <laughs> ice cream for the other two. Oh, All right. that's bad too. Trisha, are you going to say anything? <laughs> after that, <laughs> there's not much to say after that. <laughs> All right, so anyway, we had to take a little cut right there. Things got a little <laughs> inappropriate. But anyway, these are the best three camera, well, probably the stupidest three camera people on the lake today because it's 40-ish uh, degrees with 22-mile-an-hour winds yes. and a little snow flurries, but we're out here and... Good time. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to get in the boat. I can keep oh, my yeah. hands in my pockets instead of I mean, tying a knot all day. Of white riding. cap, schmite cap. Who <laughs> <Yeah>. cares? <laughs> all right, let's get after it. Schmite. I'm going to get those. Boop. Oh, come back, Trish. I forgot to turn the camera on. <laughs> He said he drove his snow flurries all the way up there. Yeah. I know.
tubed in hammer came out, that guy won the big bass bash on yeah. it. Yeah. hundred grand. It was a cool story, too, because we were down at the tackle store in Osage Beach, and we were kind of debuting the hidden and hammer jig. I was standing there visiting with that guy, and I had seen him like three days before that up the river, and I talked to him on the water. He was, said something about struggling with his jig or something and I, uh, I only had like two Hibden hammer jigs in a boat with me but I gave him one and all we had at that time was a three quarter and a five eight. And then I ran into him at the tackle store and he said man I caught him on that jig that day you gave it to me. Well I really don't have many more I said they've got some for sale there. He bought like three more of them and then the next day he wins a hundred grand on it. <laughs> No, oh, them two heathens we're fishing against. Yes. They are no fun when it comes to this out here. They can catch them. You pull their ears back, I swear they got yields. Yeah, that's right. Well, them boys know how to fish. They know what to do. And well, when did they start fishing? I mean, I, know, I remember them back in the TBF stuff. Fishing. I can't. I mean, that yeah, was, they I, they fished those TBF deals when they were. Well, they, Payton won the championship when he was 14. Yeah. You know. They got on all the brands, we carry the Kama Skeeter, Bass Cat, the Aluminum Lines, the Express, our Avid. Of course, Tony's very familiar with the Avid. That's what he guides out of. Great boat. Yeah. But everything is kicking off. We're actually moving our location to Nixa. We're putting everything under one house. We actually had several different buildings. We had three different things. We had a mechanic shop, a rigging shop in Nixa. Plus, our storefront showroom in Springfield, and it's just a lot easier on everybody putting everything under one house. We're actually in the process of moving everything down there right now. Baitworks is staying where it is, right there off 65. But we'll be just south of Nixa there on 160s or going out of town at the old sport boats building, which we was already there previously. But it'll just be a lot better, a lot better parking everything on it. But we're excited about that. We have grown really fast and furious, I promise you. And a lot of that help is the pro staff we got, like Mr. Hibden here, his boys and stuff, pushing people our way, the seminars they do for us, everything. We have a great staff, Bobby Albert, Marcus Sicoria, Brent Aljo. We got a list that goes on and on, and we got some hammers on our team. So, very proud of that. Baitworks is Springfield, Missouri's premier tackle shop, owned and operated by fishermen. Oh, yeah. We carry all the brands, accessories, and knowledge you need to be ready for your next catch. We sell all the top brands like Mega Bass, Strike King, Zoom, Rapala, and hundreds of others. It doesn't matter what region you're from or what season we're in, we've got you covered. Come check out our store in person or visit our website at www.baitworks.com and we'll get you ready for your next fishing adventure. Rustic Timbers Furniture in beautiful Branson West is located on Highway 76. Rustic Timbers specializes in rugged handcrafted furniture for your home, lodge, or cabin. Rustic Timbers Furniture offers decor for virtually every room in your home or business. Their products are made in America and are designed to last a lifetime. Their knowledgeable staff is there to answer any of your interior decor questions. You'll find everything from bedroom and living room furniture to taxidermy wall decor and much more. Rustic Timbers Furniture is everything to fit your rustic style. Hey, it's Trish here with Ozark Mountain Outdoors. We are your proud closed caption sponsor for the Squincher Outdoors team. The tip of the week this week is check your releases. They have been through so much with the wind and the rain and the debris and uh, probably some dust in there from our pockets or wherever we keep them. Um, those little mechanics in here, they get full of stuff and we need to make sure that they're clean and they're in 
good working order. A lot of your release manufacturers will allow you to send your release back in. They will go through it, refurbish it for you, clean it, oil it, and send it back. I know Hotshot Manufacturing Company, they did that for me last year, and this one's getting in the mail this week. So I get it, get it back, and it's all clean and ready to go, and I know that all the mechanics in there are going to work just like they should. This is the time of year you catch your giants too. Oh, yeah. I mean, February is probably more big bath on February than any yep. month of the year. There and just after it starts to warm up, you know, before the spawn, obviously, but seems like just about the time you think you can catch, oh, I'll catch them on a rock crawler and wiggle ward. Well, we've cheated a little bit. It's been really windy out. It's kind of hard to throw a jig. So the rules are kind of sketchy. And since I'm in charge, we're going to do what we want. So Payton's got a jerk bait on. And I'm throwing an A-rig for a few minutes and seeing if we can bring a nice fish back to the weigh-in. We're just not going to tell those other guys. No, they, can, they won't find out until after the show airs. Your dad was fired up this morning. So we got we to gotta turn it up here a little bit. We got to put it on. We're going to. There's something about look, you throw it under a dock, and if it's a crappie or bass or whatever, and if it bites, it's fun. Yep. I don't know what it is. Oh, there's nothing better to me. No better bite in the world than when you skip that bass jig 20 feet up under there, and one just smacks it. You come dragging a four or five pounder out of there. It's about like flipping bushes, yeah. you know, to me. We're hooked up. Little fella. You've seen that was a really awkward hook set too. <laughs> Got him right in the right in the good spot. That's probably it seminars and stuff is the most asked question is what would my dad think of active target and, and the electronics like they are and my dad would have been all for it you know because my dad was for anything that helped you catch a fish and uh you know innovations in this day and age you know people talk about active target and live target and stuff like that and and what it's done and how it's changed things but Heck, my dad would have beat your butt if he'd had a uh, spot lock. You think he fished slow before? <laughs> if he'd had spot lock, he would have dominated everything. Because you couldn't fish with my dad. It was hard to fish with my dad fishing a jig. And it's just because he's so slow and works it in, you know. He'll make one cast while you make five or six. And spot lock would have been something for him. Hey John, I bought that ATV and I need a quote fast, but man, I gotta go, here comes a buck. The Resource Center serving Branson in Springfield, Missouri specializes in home, auto, motorcycle, and recreational vehicle insurance. Hey Tony, here's the insurance for your four-wheeler and your ID car, glad we get you back in the woods. Appreciate it, man, I can't believe you guys got it done so fast. I got plenty of time, I'm gonna go hit the trees right now. I'm gonna be right behind you. If you're hunting for top coverage at a great rate, call John Schaefer at the Resource Center and let him save you some big bucks. When we chase them crappie, they're almost always over the top of the bait fish when you see them on this, on a, on active target. A bass will be perfectly under a school of shit. And you hear some of the old timers that used to throw a jerk bait a ton, 
Stan Snelson, uh, Pappy Sloan, a bunch of those old timers, and they'd talk about watching their watch. They'd watch their watch and make them sit for 30 seconds. And that is a long time. That's a long time. <laughs> a long time. If you got if you got your hand on this right here, okay, it's it's moving. All right, you can't do it. I have to stick my hand in my pocket to let it sit for 30 seconds. Even if I'm looking at it on active target. There it goes. And say in a lot of times when you catch one like this, you don't want to goof up and give them slack and everything else. You want to kind of just take it in. You got different presses, then you bring it in and you go screaming and hollering and go, oh my God, it's huge. And there you go. <laughs> and he barely even snagged that. barely gonna keep but that would be number two on the board you know and what when I you see catch what... one behind the, the vacuum of mr. Dion Hidden, it's a huge privilege to catch that behind him <laughs> so I'm just saying you know what I see when I look at that what's that I see Tony grabbing his wallet that's, that's right, what we're that's hoping right. for we're hoping for here's the bear can't tell what kind of fish it was but he thumped it hard don't forget Good one. You might be a keeper. He's not. He ain't going to make it. He's about 14. Yeah. We went down to Florida one time and a buddy of mine had a little TV show, Mike Sermon, and, and we got to throwing like a horny toad type deal around and and uh, he said, I throw it over by that old, old hell weed. I said, oh hell what? And he said, throw it by them weeds right there, them arrowheads. And he said his son fished the tournament with him and uh, he said he'd throw a top water out there by them arrowheads and he said he'd get to bringing it up to him. He said he'd get with it about five with him. He's like, oh, hell, Dad. Oh, hell. Oh, hell. Oh, hell. Oh, oh, oh boosh. You know, and they'd blow up. And he said so. He said now we just call him, oh, hell. And uh, he said because his son. And he said still to this day, he said every time he makes a cast by one, he said he'll get within about three or four cranks of it with a top one. And he'd, oh, hell. Oh, hell. Oh, hell. You know. <laughs> and, uh, be sure to catch the conclusion of this fierce Lake of the Ozark competition on the next episode of Squincher Outdoors.